Hi, it's Jeff Londash, and welcome to Out and About, and today we've got a great interview for you. This is Todd Hancock, the, the most talented man in the Mahoning Valley. Or at least in this room. Yeah, that's right, and we're here at the Dior in downtown Youngstown, and you have got a phenomenal play coming up that's going to be Mother's Day weekend, and you're going to tell us all about it. Peter and the Star Catcher. That's this right. Is a, this is an absurdly funny that's right. Musical as the comedy. Poster, as the poster says, it's like Monty Python meets Peter Pan. Now, this is a, a prequel to the story of Peter Pan. Everyone knows the story of Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Well, I this don't. Is, Could you tell me about it? <laughs> okay, well, there's this boy who won't grow up. Okay, that's no, good. <laughs> no, it, uh, it's the prequel. And matter of fact, it was built on Broadway as the grown-ups prequel to Peter Pan. It's... It's, there's nothing in there that uh, that kids wouldn't enjoy, but it's really actually uh, more sophisticated humor and and rich, written for adults. But um, it's a it's a creative show, probably the most creative thing that we've ever attempted to do at Easy Street. I mean, there's plays like Annie and Joseph the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat that are all scripted out. The neat thing about this show is that they. Um, they leave the the uh, the action of the thing very loose, so it's it's uh, you know a lot of improv. It, yeah, a lot of improv, a lot of interpretation. So like they'll have a sword fight, but the sword fight isn't necessarily two swords. It's a plunger and the leg of a chair or something like that. So the whole play is is supposed to be that like a group of actors has kind of come on to kind of like the old Mickey Rooney and Judy Gar, like let's put on a show type thing, and they grab props, scenery pieces, and everything, and they put this show together and tell the story of how Peter Pan became Peter. Pan and how Captain Hook became Captain Hook. It's, wow. it's a lot of fun. And it, and it started on Broadway? Yeah, it won uh, five Tony Awards on Broadway, which is pretty big for a play. And this one, another thing that's different about it is Easy Street always does musicals. Now, this one is actually billed as a play with music. Now, there's a lot of songs in it. Matter of fact, Maureen Collins will be in there. She'll be singing away as well. Uh, but uh, but this one is more of a comedy and not just strictly a musical like we, uh, you know, like we usually do. So uh, it gets us to kind of, you know, spread our wings a little bit, try something different, but it's also kind of like the first time that this has uh, been presented in town. So uh, it just won the uh, Tony Awards back in 2012, I believe. So it's fresh off of Broadway. It's a brand new show. Okay, and it's going to be here in the Dior. And, and you put on a play every Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, this is kind, and of, this is kind a, of a little bit different for you, but it's still yeah, it's, not just for mom, for everybody. Yeah, it's for the whole family. We always try to do a big family show every Mother's Day. And, and this is ever since we started at the Uptown. It started with Pump Boys and Dinettes. And every year since, we've done a show here uh, down at Powers uh, for Mother's Day, and this one is no exception. It's a family show. Kids can come. Grandmas can come. But mostly, you know, we want something, not like you need an excuse to bring your mom out. Right. But it's a great excuse to bring your mom out Mother's Day weekend. And matter of fact, Jeff Crystal, who is a fantastic chef here at Overture Restaurant. My favorite chef. Yeah, he's, 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 uh, Boy just, can cook. Yeah, he can he really can cook. cook. <laughs> and every year he has been doing, kind of in conjunction with our show, a Mother's Day buffet. So you can actually come to the show on Mother's Day, um, bring your mom, eat before the show or eat after the show. Right here, they set up tables out in the lobby, and he does it kind of like Vegas style, where he has different stations where there'll be like roast beef. And it, I mean, it's just fantastic. I, I, I take my mom every year. It's great. And this is really a neat little theater. This isn't like right, right next door. We have Powers. Right. Yeah, and most it's people, 20, what, 2,200 or yeah. 2,000 seats over there, and this is a nice quaint little, yeah. how many people could it, fit in here? Well, you could fit 300 on the main floor, 300 in the balcony, so 600 total. Wow. And it's it's a lot different than next door. Now, don't get me wrong, we love performing at Powers Auditorium. I mean, there's nothing like it. 2,000 seats, you know, when, when you get a big crowd in there, it's, it's fantastic. For a Christmas show, perfect. For a show like this, like or Pump Boys and Inez, so one that's kind of intended for a smaller audience, this space is perfect. I mean, there's not a bad seat in the house. As you can see, even the back row of the balcony, you're probably only, you know, 20, 20 some yards away from the stage. So it's, 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 uh, and it resonates really well in here. Yeah, too. it's, it's beautiful. Um, you know, we've been doing shows here since it, uh, matter of fact, we were the first play that was presented in this, uh, space. And, uh, we use it, you know, like I said. And you do some little, little, uh, musical things here this too. Is, not, not musicals, but little, uh, yeah, singing things. Yeah, actually, cabaret type stuff. Just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, last week, Maureen did her final performance for her Little Rascal Workshops. We use this stage to do our, our final performances for that. So that's, if you want any information on that, you just go to our website at uh, Easy Street Shows. 
at .com, and you can get registration for it, sign up your kids. Uh, she teaches the workshops right here. But also in the lobby, which is where the restaurant area is, is where we've been doing our cabaret series. And that's, we set up little tables out in the lobby. Jeff Crystal, again, provides a small plate menu. They have specialty cocktails, and we bring in different artists like once a month. And they'll do like little cabaret shows in there, real intimate. I mean, they have it in other cities, obviously. It's nothing new. But, but for here, it's kind of the first time you could sit around at a small table, order a drink, maybe order a, a, a small uh, small dinner, something to eat, and, and watch an artist in an intimate, beautiful, you know, like elegant atmosphere. It really is it's, nice. It's here. really nice. So let's talk about Peter and the Star Catcher again. This is going to be for how long? How many weekend runs? We're, we're actually doing it for two weekends. It opens on May 5th, and it closes on Mother's Day, which is May 14th. Um, we actually have tickets starting at $17. Uh, now, obviously, um, the Dior will charge a little handling fee onto that. But, uh, but you know, so we try to make it affordable for the whole family uh, and, and try to make it, you know, kind of live up to our, our Mother's Day tradition. And where do you get tickets at? Uh, you just call up the Dior, or you can go online. Uh, they're here in the box office Monday through Friday from 10 to 3 p.m. Uh, and that's 744-0264. Or you can go online, which is the easy way to do it, open 24-7. That's youngstownsymphony.com. All righty. And it's two weekends. That's Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. It goes, actually, the first weekend's Friday and Saturday, Friday and Saturday night. Then the second weekend is Friday and Saturday night. And then the Sunday, Mother's Day matinee. matinee. Okay. Uh, just before we go, yeah. it's two weekends of a show. But how long do you prepare in, in, from auditions to all the, all yeah. the practices, rehearsals, to, to finally getting on there for only two weeks? I, well, I'll tell you what, this is actually a luxury when we get to do two weeks. I mean, think about the Christmas show. We probably rehearse for that over two months, and we only get one weekend. You wow. know? But, you know, you're in powers. It's a lot of people get to come in there in one weekend. But here, when we get to do it actually two weekends, that's like a, that's a luxury for Easy Street. You know, people can come the first weekend. And it's nice because then we can get maybe word of mouth. People say, hey, I saw the show last yeah. weekend. Go see down there instead of it. hey you should have saw that show last weekend you missed it and again this is for the entire family <laughs> absolutely not just kids mom grandma everybody's gonna love you're it. gonna laugh you're gonna cry the yeah. whole bit huh? maybe not so much cry but you're gonna laugh oh, that's you'll be sure. singing so i'm <laughs> sure there'll be true. some tears that's in the audience true. you're right <laughs> know, that's true so <laughs> get your tickets and come on down to the dior mother's day weekend and the weekend prior to that Peter in the Star Catcher, it's a really great play. Go online, research it if you want. It's really funny. He's in it. It's got to be good. Todd, thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you, Jeff. All right, thanks for keeping the arts alive here in the Mahoning Valley, too. You do a great job. And that's going to do it for this edition of Out and About, and we hope that you're going to come down and enjoy this great play put on by Easy Street Productions. Maureen's going to be here, so you know that at least some talent. There will be some talent. <laughs> there will be some talent. <laughs> you take care, and we'll see you again real soon.